drugstore favorites. And this isn't necessarily my drugstore favorites of this month or last month. It's just my drugstore favorites as of right now. I'm going to start with the ever famous EOS lip balm ball sphere, I guess. This is the summer fruit and this is what it looks like if you don't know. It would have had a sphere dome shape but I've used it a lot and it's kind of worn out right now so. It tastes like peaches, um, it smells like peaches, it is, I'm gonna read over here, I have this open, 95% organic, 100% natural, paraben and petroleum free, and it's also infused with shea butter and vitamin E along with millions of other great features. Um, this is just a great product all around. You can get this. I got this at Walmart. It makes my lips extremely soft and I've noticed that I don't have to exfoliate my lips as often as I had to before I use that so that's a really nice plus. It just makes my lipstick look extremely nice when I wear this underneath of it so definitely recommend that. Moving on to another lip product. This is my favorite lipstick of all time. This is the Maybelline Pink Please Lipstick. Um, this is what it looks like. It's kind of a neutralish pink. It's just perfect. I can't say enough about this lipstick. It doesn't stand out too much, but you can make it stand out if you want to by adding like lip gloss over it. It's just so versatile. I love this. I have like a bunch of backups of these and just in case. I love it. So the next cosmetic I'm going to be talking about is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. This is the very black color. And this is what the wand looks like. If you didn't know, this is what it looks like. It just gives great length to my lashes. It also adds a lot of volume, surprisingly, because, you know, sometimes you don't get both of those features in um, a lengthening mascara. What really makes it look nice is this next mascara that I'm going to be talking about, which is the Maybelline XXL Extension. This is one of those with the two sides. You've got your primer, and you've also got your regular black mascara, which... I'm not particularly fond of, but I really enjoy this primer side. This is what I use every day, almost every day, and obviously this lash stiletto covers up the whiteness, so don't worry. It just makes your mascara less clumpy, it makes it last longer, it just goes on a lot smoother, and I guess on the directions it says you're not supposed to let this primer dry, just wait a few seconds and then put on your black mascara coat. My next cosmetic would be... Um, this isn't necessarily my favorite concealer, but I really just like this product. It's another two-in-one product. It's the Sonia Kashuk um, Concealer. It's actually called the Confidential Concealer with Brightening Pencil. So you've got your doe foot applicator with the concealer on this side. On the other side here, which is my favorite part of this, is the Brightening Stick. And you just twist this up. This is supposed to be put like in your inner corners of your eyes. It's it's really tiny, and so it can fit perfectly in like the little corner here. Um, if you want to highlight up here, even or on your brow bone, it's perfect. You can it's very blendable. The color is like very illuminating and highlighting. So um, I really enjoy this. The only thing I don't like about the concealer is the color choice. It's not. A great selection really so it doesn't match my skin tone perfectly it has like very pink undertones my skin has more like yellow olive undertones so I have to mix this with other things I just tend not to reach for this but highlighting stick once again great the next kind of cosmetic I guess would be this brush and it's the only brush I'm going to be featuring it's a foundation slash concealer brush for a drugstore foundation brush or just as a brush in general these bristles are way too soft like in a good way the brand is called Mira, M-I-R-R-A, if you can see that. If I do have like some light discoloration, then it fits perfectly under my eyes. Like if I have a blemish, which I do right now, um, it's really good just if you dab it over that. And then I also tend to blend out the concealer with this as well, just because it's a larger brush, obviously. And um, it just does a really good job. So I really enjoy that. Let's move on to hair products. I guess this is kind of a product, but not really. These are these uh, Velcro rollers. Um, then I have this little one here too. And they're really, really flexible, so they're great to sleep in. I actually use these all over the top of my head to add like extra oomph. It's just kind of an old secret weapon that maybe some people don't think about as, to use as often for volume, but it really does get extremely high volume. Look how big these rollers are. Like, it lifts my hair up that high. That's really high. Then these are the smaller ones if you want to see the comparison. Um, 
this smaller, these smaller ones I just use for the rest of my hair if I want to go really curly. Sometimes I'll just use these alone, just at the roots, and then like have a straight look. I think these are Con Air. It came with smaller ones than this too, but I don't use those. It makes my hair really like Shirley Temple curly. Not really into that. So um, <laughs> I really enjoy those. My next product is this John Frieda Collection Luxurious Volume All Out Hold Hair Spray. I love this stuff. I really enjoy creating volume in my hair because it's something my hair naturally lacks. So this is my go-to styling product when I'm working on my hair. If I just flip my head upside down and spray this all over, I get the most volume out of my hair. It's, it claims 110% more fullness, 50% more thickness, 90% more lift. And I, I agree. I don't think this is false advertising at all. I really enjoy this. It makes my hair so thick. It also holds curl very nicely, which is kind of what its main purpose is since it's a hairspray. Um, so five stars for this product. Another John Frieda collection product that I have is the Frizzies Dream Curls. And what I do with this is once my hair is damp, since my hair is naturally wavy, Side note, if your hair is straight, I really please comment below and tell me if you've used this before because I really am interested in how it works on straight hair because I've heard a lot of great things about it from people with wavy and curly hair, but I'm really curious, like, does it really work on, on straight hair too? Anyway, whenever I have my hair damp right from the shower, I just spritz this kind of generously all over my hair, um, scrunch it a little bit, roll it, twist it into a bun, a high bun, just to create volume. When um, it's completely dry, it does give me dream curls. I know it's cheesy, but it does. It's amazing. My my curls are defined. The natural curl in my hair is defined and not crispy. So soft. It smells delicious. I'm not sure. I can't really describe the scent. Um, it just smells so fresh. Okay, so moving on, another root extension, surprise, surprise, um, hair product is this Nexus Root Extend Volumizing Root Lifter. That's shiny, so I'm not sure if you can see it. But there it is. I think I got this for $2 at the dollar store. I'm not sure why it's worth way more than that in my eyes. Um, but I'm not complaining at all. It has a really um, precise spray. So um, I just lift the roots of my hair up in sections and spray the very tips of my roots. I have the Garnier Fructis Brilliant Shine Glistening Drops. I love this. It comes in a really small bottle. Something just happened to my voice and that was creepy. I only use about a pea size amount. I just like rub it through my hands, mainly towards the ends because it really does um, kind of seal up those frazzled ends that tend to accumulate all over the ends of my hair. So um, it really does kind of polish your hair. Um, not in a greasy way unless you really concentrate at the roots, which I do not recommend. Um, this is just for like, I use it from here down to my hair. Even with curls, it doesn't make my curls drop out or anything, even though it is a serum. I have my last product here, which is my only body product, and it is the Vaseline Renewal Age-Defying Body Lotion. I love the size of this. It's huge, so I can use a generous amount like on my legs and not worry about it running out. I've had this for maybe four or five months, and it's only down to here. So it's kind of awesome. Um, it smells so fresh, makes my skin, the most importantly, makes my skin so soft. I love the feeling after shaving my legs, putting this on, letting it dry, and then feeling my legs. It's just like, I can't help it. It's just great. That's really weird, but I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about or not. Anyway, I would say it does take a little while to absorb, but once it does absorb, you're not going to hate that you had to wait a little longer to um, to rub it in because it's perfect in my opinion. So that about does it for my drugstore favorites as of right now. I don't even want to say of 2010. It's just my drugstore favorites. We're just going to leave it at that. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video and um, please comment below. I'm really new to YouTube and any feedback would be really nice. Um, if you have any requests or anything like that, I love making videos. I'm I'm really new to it, but I, I love it already. So, And I really love watching your guys' videos as well. So um, let me know what you guys want to see or feedback on this video or any other of my videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!